Hi everyone! This video will go over the banking activity. So for part one, we will be using the NGPF, or Next Generation Personal Finance Bank Simulator, to answer the following directions. So first, we're going to go to the website. Then, we're going to click on Get Started Now. Next, we're going to click on OK. And then from here, we're going to view the checking account balance. So we're going to click on View Account for the checking account. So as we can see here, the current checking account balance is $216.04. Next, we're going to deposit a $100 check into the checking account. So we're going to click on Deposit Checks. Then select the checking account. And then type the amount, which is $100. Now we're going to click Submit. And as we can see here, the new checking account balance is $316.04. Alright, so that is part one. Okay, so for part two, we will be filling in a transaction register. So we're going to add or subtract each transaction to keep a running total of the balance. So we have four transactions right here. And at the bottom we have a D for automatic deposit, a P for automatic payment, ATM for automated teller machine, DC for debit card, D for deposit, and T for transfer. So if we come over to the transaction register, as we can see here, we have the check number or code, date, description of the transaction. We're going to subtract payments, add deposits, and then calculate the new balance. So for our first transaction, we have an automatic payment for rent on July 1st, and the amount is $1,050. So first, we're going to write the code, which is AP. Next, we're going to write the date, which is July 1st. Then, we're going to write the transaction description, which is rent. And then, we're going to record the amount, which is 1050 now from here, if we take $2,895 and we subtract $1,050, that will give us $1,845 for the new balance.
Next up, we have check number 106 for the Met Market on July 8th, and the amount is $27.69. So we're going to write the check number, which is 106. Next, we're going to write the date, which is July 8th. Then, we're going to write the transaction description, which is Met Market. And then we're going to record the amount, which is $27.69. Now from here, if we take $1,845 and we subtract $27.69, that will give us $1,817.31. Next up, we have an automatic deposit for a paycheck on July 15th, and the amount is $3,400. $50. So we're going to write the code, which is a D. Next, we're going to write the date, which is July 15th. Then, we're going to write the transaction description, which is Paycheck. And then we're going to record the amount, which is $3,450. Now from here, if we take $1,817.31, and we add three thousand four hundred fifty dollars. That will give us five thousand two hundred sixty seven dollars and thirty one cents. For our last transaction, we have a deposit for a refund check on July 22nd, and the amount is $156.98. So we're going to write the code, which is D. Next, we're going to write the date, which is July 22nd. Then, we're going to write the transaction description, which is refund check. And then, we're going to record the amount, which is $156.98. Now from here, if we take $5,267.31 and we add $156.98, that will give us Okay, so that is part two, and it's also 
the end of the banking activity. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.